Rich Panel AI Tutorial Hello and welcome to our channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use Rich Panel AI. So please watch till the end to properly understand the tutorial. But before that, if you don't know what is Rich Panel, it is an advanced customer support platform specifically designed for e-commerce businesses, leveraging AI technology to enhance the efficiency and effectiveness of customer service operations, in which Rich Panels offers a comprehensive suite of features including self-service help desk, omnichannel support, and CRM integration in which these tools enable businesses to streamline their customer interactions by centralizing communications from various channels such as email, chat, and social media into a single interface. And also the platform also includes robust analytics and reporting tools that provides insights into support performance, metrics helping businesses refine their strategies based on the data given decisions. And now to create an account, just click the link in the description or you could also click the login button on the top right corner and by doing so, you will be directed on this page where you can sign in using your Google account, email account in here, and many more. And upon signing in on this page, you will now be able to be directed on this dashboard or homepage of Rich Panel. And it will show us on the left side panel the option to navigate such as home, inbox, self-service, analytics, people, campaigns, and settings in here. Now under the homepage from here, it will show you that you can start connecting your channels. And as you can see, you have your email, Facebook, on Instagram to connect. And you can also set up your customer widget in here, such as to set up widget appearance and widget on your website. And you can even invite a teammate by clicking this invite user button below to start inviting a user. In which on this pop up window, they simply enter their email address and also select the role they have, such as agent, agent limited, collaborator, and many more. And click send invite to proceed. Now moving on, on the left side panel, we could also navigate here these inboxes by clicking on it. It will show us on this pop-up window the intelligent AI for support agent that you can activate the sidekick, but you must have an upgrade account to do it or also to use this one. So by closing this, under this inbox section, it will show us all the compose messages and also some of this security alert in here, DMs and many more in which this feature is designed to streamline customer support for e-commerce businesses by consolidating various communication channels into a single interface. And from here, you can start composing your own email address, and you can even attach an attachment in here. Click or choose the emoji or tokens and insta action in here. While on the left side panel, you can also navigate here some other option, such as this search conversation if you want to search for specific kind of messages that you're looking for. While on the left side panel, you could also navigate the shared views, such as waiting, reply, trash, all chats, and many more. But moving on on the left side panel, we could also navigate the self-service, in which Rich Panel offers a robust self-service option designed to empower customers by enabling them to resolve common issues independently and in real time, 24/7. So we have here, as you can see, a greetings and the stylings. While on the top panel, you could also make the widget visible by simply turning on this one. And as you can see, it is now currently visible. Now, from here, it will show us that we can start customizing the greet or customer widget colors, fonts, and many more. And you can also proceed to these configure modules to turn on the live chat, general topics, order topics, and even allow customers to search for topics in here. And it will show us in here on the right side panel what it looks like. So as you can see on this page, there are no AI employees since you need to have an upgrade account in order to access the AI employees on this switch panel. But from here, we could also enter here or choose to customize the general topics and also arrange depending in our preferences. We have here orders and returns, shipping delivery, how long it will take to get my order and many more. We could also navigate here these order topics to let customer perform basic order actions with self-service, such as this where is my order to track the number. Or you could also disable this topic if you want to duplicate the topic or delete the scenario. So as you can see, we have here a variety of order topics to choose from. And it will show us on the right side panel what it looks like. So basically, this feature significantly reduces the volume of support queries, allowing customer support agent to focus on more complex issues. Now moving on under this live chat on the left side panel, we can click this collect customer's data, when we can start asking for email and phone or just email only. And if you also want to change some of the field, such as the first name, last name, or even add an input field in here if you want to. And on the right side panel, this is basically what it looks like. 
So that's how we're going to delete the last name field in here. And as you can see, it is now been changed. And we also need for customer consent in here to request consent for customers before they start a conversation. And also navigate the pre-chat form under outside business hours where you can collect contact details on desktop or on mobile phone but at the same time also given the consent form. Moving on on the left side panel, we could also navigate this widget position to change the position of the widget such as to make it on the left, right or even hide the widget on mobile website and limit who will be able to view the widget set timing storage display and even selecting a badge in here. So as you can see we have here two options which is this one that we currently have or this one that says chat with us. Now aside from widget position we can navigate this forward to help desk and all we need to do is simply select here the platform such as Georgia's send desk customer help scout and custom. We would also click this import topics however at this point it is currently disabled. Now moving on aside from that on the left side panel we could also navigate some other options in here including these campaigns by simply clicking on it it will automatically show us the list of the campaign in here but if you want to create a new one just click the create campaign button on the top right corner and after that on this pop-up window just simply under here the name of this campaign that you prefer then proceed by clicking next button below to proceed so for instance i'm going to enter here the name on the top panel and click the next button now after that, it will show us in here that we can start selecting our own audience in here. In which by clicking on it, we can start clicking either visitors during business hours or all website visitors. And after that to save the changes, just click the save button on the top right corner. Now moving on, the step 2 which is to write a message. And from here, you can start composing a message by entering here the context that you prefer. And also navigate here to select the agent, select an action and even make a personal using the name and help the action including the link. So moving on at this point I'm not going to fill out all of this required information in here. But basically that is just how you can start creating a message on this page and also navigating to create your own campaign or we can start publishing it in here. You could also navigate here the chat campaigns, the ticket campaigns that you could also start creating if you want to depending on your preferences by clicking the create campaign button and start clicking the ticket option. And moving on, you could also navigate the option on the left side panel which is the settings option. By clicking on it, it will show us a variety of channels to choose from such as email, SMS, Facebook, Aircall, WhatsApp, Attentive, HelloRep, Clavio, and many more. And also you can navigate and access the data automation in here, the sidekick, user and teams, and many more. So basically, this option settings allows user to customize and manage various aspects of their customer support operations effectively. In which within the rich panel interface, users can access settings related to integration, live chat configurations, and customer self-service functionalities. But overall, that is just basically who you can use rich panel AI. Thank you.